Hello. Oh, let me get some better lighting. Oh, there. Oh, isn't that nice? My little tree in the background. Hello. What's going on, Jackie Lawrence? I'm gonna do some makeup. It's Sunday night, and I want you to watch the transformation. <laughs> of this face. I'm going to do a fun look for you tonight. Yep, tonight. I am going to put on full on makeup for you. My husband thinks I'm nuts. Okay. Isn't my tree pretty? I really love my tree. It's a huge tree. Anyways, if you're tuning in, say hello. I'm going to do a smoky eye for you. Full on makeup. Mm -hmm. On a Sunday night at, I don't even know what time it is. Is it 8 o'clock? Oh, I can't find my primer. Oh, here it is. That's tragic. Anyways, if you're tuning in, thumbs up, say hello, let me know you're here. <laughs> I am uh, going to transform, watch the transformation. Hang out to watch me transform this face into something else. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's art. So, I'm just putting on primer right now. I have spent the entire day, thank you for the thumbs up, whoever that is, um, decorating trees. Well, my husband put up all the trees and he fanned out all the branches, which is like, I don't know, I hate that job of the tree. I also hate, <laughs> I like when the tree's up, I hate the work, okay? So I don't love putting on uh, the ornaments, so this tree doesn't have a lot of ornaments on it. It's just evenly spaced throughout to make it look semi-normal. But I have a tree in my family room, it's by my fireplace, and um, my kids decorate that tree. So I have all their ornaments, like the ones that they made from school, and my old ornaments from when I was a kid, and I have a huge box full, and they get excited to put the ornaments on the tree, and I'm not kidding you, like five ornaments up, and they're over it. <laughs> they're over it. And then I end up doing the rest. But it does look really nice once it's done. Okay, so let's put on, we're gonna do a quick little face first, okay? So I'm gonna put some foundation on my face and um, we'll even do a highlight. Cause if you're going, if you're gonna do a smoky eye, you kinda want a really nice, even skin tone face, right? You don't, wouldn't do a smoky eye with this skin. So we're gonna cover all this up. And I'm using liquid foundation. Okay, that's what it looks like liquid foundation. It dries to a powder finish and I'm going to drop that onto my brush and then cover it all up. So, da. It's been a really, really, really busy um, Thanksgiving weekend <laughs> for me just because my company is so busy right now. I'm in retail, so you know these are the sa this is the sale weekend. So much going on. But anyways, it's good busy. I'm not complaining. I love my job. It's so fun. And I'm here to show you how you can transform your face for the holidays. I'm totally not sitting in my normal chair and it feels awkward. Hey, Chris. Could you do me a huge favor? You know the chair that you're sitting on in my office? Could you bring that to me, please? It's the chair I normally sit in out here and I, I can't do it on this little chair. It feels weird. It feels wrong. Look at that. See how it covered up? I might have just a few little like zits I need to get rid of, but we can get rid of those. Hold on, I gotta switch chairs. Thanks, Kelly. Uh, TJ Maxx, Kelly. Hey, Teresa. Hang on, guys. Okay. Oh, much better. <laughs> um, Kelly, I got this from TJ Maxx. I love it. Unique doesn't sell it yet. So, um, you have to go to TJ Maxx. It's just a no-name brand, but I really, really like it. 
you have a small brush like that. I would use it for me for concealer. If you use cream concealer, Teresa, you could use it for your cream concealer. I use it sometimes to contour around my lip. I have a really teeny, teeny, tiny one like this. So I have a small one too, like this, and you could use that for concealer under the eye area, like a cream, a cream concealer though. I'm gonna use powdered concealer. And then I have like one like this, and I use that for contouring my lip area. But the fat one I use for um, foundation. Okay. Oh, I've got a mess going on over here. Crap, hang on. I can look at my bar with my pretty stockings. All right, let's put just a little bit of concealer on for extra coverage. I think I'm gonna do taffeta. You have this one, Teresa, this size. That size is what I use for contouring, for blending a contour. Okay, so I'm just doing a little dab of concealer in the areas that I'm like breaking out. <laughs> I need just a little more coverage. And I have like this dry spot on my nose. Yeah, I, that's what I would use it for, Teresa, to um, blend your concealer. I have to get this little dry spot on my nose off, you guys. It's driving me nuts. Okay, there, it's gone. You're welcome. Okay, just covering up a little more redness my face, but my the, the foundation did a really good job, don't you think, of covering up most of my redness and uneven skin tone. So let's, I'm going to dust some powder over the top of that to set it. And I like a really, really matte finish. So I'm just dusting powder over the top. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. All right, my favorite part is the highlight because I like this under eye area to be concealed. So I'm just gonna use a powdered concealer and I'm using it in a shade that is three, it's actually two shades lighter than my foundation. So the reason why I use powdered concealer is, first of all, it's super fast, and second of all, um, if you have more mature skin, okay, powdered concealer is going to be better than cream-based concealer. You got mine at a Five Below store. Cool. Yeah, you can find them like on Amazon too. Problem is, is the really cheap ones, Teresa, don't last very long. But I knew that. I knew that going in. I just wanted to test it out. And I'm hoping Unique comes out with a really good brush because really good brushes last you a really long time if you take care of them. Right? Okay, so you can kind of see how I've got a highlight going on. I love using powder, it's fast. And I'll even actually really get my under eye area with the sponge. So anyways, I was saying, if you crease if you have an issue with creasing under the eye area or it looks cakey in that area, usually, okay, there's a few things. If it looks cakey, a lot of times it has to do with you don't have enough moisture going on in the under eye area. So you need a lot of moisture. So you want to make sure you have a really good nighttime skin care regime um, that provides a lot of moisture for your under eye area. And I'm going to tell you this, as you age, you lose moisture. And that's a, the biggest contributor to making you look older is not getting enough moisture in your skin. So you got to take care. you got to have a really good skincare routine. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put primer on my eyes. So this is eye primer because I'm going to prime them and get them ready. You need very little. See how little that is? And I'm just gonna put some eye primer on my eyes to prime my eyes so that my shadow stays in place and it doesn't crease and it doesn't move and it stays vibrant and doesn't sink into my skin. And then I like to let that sit for a minute and I'm gonna use my favorite product, one of my favorite products, 
is um, setting powder for my under eye area, which is going to be the Magic Age Eraser. You haven't bought, yeah, I bought it, just haven't used it. Okay, try it. I'll, you know what, I'll use it tonight, Teresa, so you can see. I just use it for on my lips, though. Look at that. <laughs> Smooth. And I like to do the whole eye area. And I'm just gonna go and dust in these areas too. See how much smoother my face looks than it was in the beginning? Smooth and soft. Okay, quickly, let's do some brows. Let me get my brow pencils. I'm gonna start on the bottom. So I'm just gonna quickly do a brow for you because our smoky eye isn't gonna look good without our brows being done. Amazing, I'm using the dark. I usually use the medium, but I'm using the dark, but oh well, we're just gonna go with it. Fill in the center. I mean, come on, look at how fast that was. And then I like to blend. I use the little spoolie on the end, blend it really good. And then you can, you know how I put on concealer earlier? Take your concealer brush and you could use, like I have, I have a little concealer on this little guy. And I'm gonna go in there and really just sharpen up the edges of my brows. Look at that. Super fast. Okay, let's do this guy. It was so nice today. I didn't actually leave the house, <laughs> which is rare. I'm usually running around from, usually I'm at baseball or football, but we didn't have either today. No baseball, no football, so we had time all day to decorate the house and get some work done and pay some bills and my laundry's done. I still have to do my dishes in the sink, but. I'll get to that before I go to bed or in the morning, maybe. Um, it was nice. We I even worked a little bit and caught up with Dancing with the Stars. Does anybody watch that show? I'm so, I already know who won, okay? And I'm so behind. I'm only on I'm on the Halloween episode. <laughs> I TiVo them because I love watching it. And I already know who won, but I don't care. I'm still going to watch it all the way through. I want to see all the dancing. I love it. Okay, so I feel like they're not even, so I'm going to even them out real quick. I prepped for my senior class today. I feel very, very like together, like put together, like I have, I've accomplished stuff throughout the day. It's a rare feeling and it feels amazing. This was the last thing I had to do today was put on a, do a smoky eye video. I'm doing this on my Facebook wall, but it's going to be shared into a, I have a makeup class going on and they've been waiting for a smoky eye. Okay, so my brows are done. Okay, let's get right into the smoky eye. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use for a smoky eye. I've got two different types of shadows. I am gonna use the anniversary. I am feeling productive today, Teresa. I'm gonna use the anniversary palette and I'm gonna use this color right here, this color and this color. I'm also going to use Splurge Cream Shadow and the color Proud, which is brown. So we're gonna go with like browns and, 
and pink tones. So I'm gonna use a blending brush and let's go in with Unashamed, which is this one right here. And that's gonna be our transition color. Which is pro I'm gonna I'm gonna be safe to say this is probably one of the most popular fall colors that I I've been seeing. Like my girlfriend's wearing it. Makeup artists use it all the time. I'm seeing a lot of Pinterest inspired outfits with this color. It's really pretty. So I'm working that into my um, crease because I want it to be, it's a transition color, so it's going to transition from the top to the bottom. And we're doing a smoky eye. So I'm going to show you a really basic smoky eye. There are a gazillion ways that you can do a smoky eye. I'm going to show you the most popular way, most standard way to do a smoky eye, okay, and simplistic way to do a smoky eye. So, if you're going to do this, go get your makeup. Maybe you're not going to do it tonight like I am, but when you get ready, you can save this video. Here's a few things you can do. You go, when the video is over, if you go to this video again and click on, I think it's a draw, it's like an arrow down or three little dots, you can save this video. So when you're ready to do your smoky eye, you can actually do it with me. Just go into your makeup bag and you're gonna find three colors, a light, a medium, and a dark, okay? You literally can do this with three colors. I'm gonna use four, so you can even do that. Find a light, a medium, a medium, and a dark. Okay, if you wanted to use four, you could do it with three, I'm just telling you. But just go into your makeup bag and find what you have and play with it. And then if you don't like what you have <laughs> and you want to try something different, then you reach out to me because I got a lot of makeup that I could have you play with. You could check it out at thicklonglashes.com. Okay, so I've got the transition color on. Now... I am going to use a deluxe brush and I am going to use Beaming, which is this really, really pretty color here. It's like a satin neutral color. It's kind of got kind of slightly pink, but not really. It's more of a satiny neutral color and I'm gonna put that right into the lid and in the inner corner. It's a perfect little highlight, so I'm going to actually take it um, into the inner corner a lot so it highlights and then I'm gonna take the brush and just dip it on the top so it just gets on the edge and I'm gonna go right up to my brow bone and highlight my brow bone it's so subtle so it's not like an obnoxious glitter and it won't look like your grand, you know how, like back in the day, the old ladies had a line of silver right there. <laughs> it's not going to look like that. And you could literally, you could literally pack, look at, I could pack it on and make it really, really vibrant. I'll probably do that towards the end, go back in. But right now I'm just kind of placing the pigment right onto the lid. And then I'm going to go up into the brow bone. Because everything's going to be blended together. Like everything. Like I'll probably go back in with a little bit of unashamed. Just a tad. So I really want that color to pop. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and use my cream shadow. So this is called, this is, oops. Oh, this is a cream shadow brush. I need to wipe it off because I've got a different color on it right now. But I'm gonna use that for the cream shadow because it just picks up the cream much more effectively than a regular brush. 
Okay, so it is a synthetic brush, which is best used for liquids and creams. But the cream shadow that I'm gonna use dries to a powder finish. So we can move it around really easy and it's called Proud. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put some on the brush and I'm just going to place it right into the crease. And I am going to focus on the outer corner. So I'm not bringing it all the way across, like to my inner corner. I want that to stay open. So I'm going to bring it out. And then I'm going to blend it up. So I'm just moving the pigment up and blending. So this is going to create a lot of dimension in my crease, okay? And this is what's going to darken my look as well. And then I'm gonna take the same color and I'm gonna go down towards my lash line and bring it on the outside edge. So this is basically what's creating that smoky effect, okay? So when you see fire and smoke dissipates from it, of course, smoke tends to be that charcoal gray. You can do any color you want, just you need a darker color to create a smoky effect and a blending effect. So I'm using brown, but I'm also going to be using a shimmery um, pinkish tone over the top of this to emphasize the smoke. All right, so let's bring this into the crease first. Of course, I'm not gonna go all the way across. I'm just gonna go in a little bit. Oh, I think I have too much on my brush. Let's take some off. Okay, and then once you get it in there, it's just, it dries to a powder finish, so that way you can work with it. You can work it and move it around a little bit and blend it with whatever else you've got going on. Outer corner. <laughs> I just heard my husband yawn like three times in a row. Yeah, it's, you know, everyone's skin tone's gonna be different, Teresa, so some it looks a lot pinker, some, like my, my skin tone is olive, so a lot of times, um, even browns tend to look purple on me a little bit. So it just depends, but, um, and it also depends on how much of it you're using. I blended and muted it quite a bit, so it doesn't look quite as maroon. It's like a maroonish mauve, you guys. It's just, it's like a rust. It's a rusty color and it's, it's pretty, so pretty. I'll probably put a little more on that because I really want that color to peek through above my brown here, the proud. So let's do that. So it just, you can see how it just peeks out outside of that, which is just really pretty. And you could do this on the whole lid. Oh, thank you, Teresa. I wasn't thinking that you weren't saying that, but you're right, you're right. Everyone's, it's just kind of like when you wear um, different foundations, you know, some foundation, one color might look orangey on someone, but on another person it looks perfect. And that all has to do with your skin coloring. That's why I always tell everyone, if you need help with a color match, to message me, because it all just depends on your skin tone, what colors will work best for you um, on your face. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take this color. It's Courageous, which is like a, it looks really, really purpley in this camera. Um, but it's really not. It's more pinkish. But the camera makes it look really purple. And we're going to pack that on. And I'm actually going to use the cream shadow brush to do that. 
So, do I wanna use the cream shadow brush? Yeah, I'm gonna use the cream shadow brush. Do I wanna use the cream shadow brush? I can't decide. You know what, I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna use a regular brush. I'm gonna use a regular one. In fact, we're gonna do a double whammy. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use it as liner and I'm gonna use it to smoke out my eyes. So I'm gonna use this side of my brush. I'm gonna wet it down and I'm gonna use it as liner first. So I'm just dipping into this color and when you put this color on and you don't pack it on, you like spread it on, it just goes on like a charcoal, like a dark. So it works great for liner too. I'll get the water line and I'm gonna do a wing. Okay, so here's the thing, because we're gonna create this really amazing smoky look, don't worry about your wing being super straight because we're probably going to smudge it out anyways. And I can use this liner for the bottom line too. I'm staying really close to my lash line. Thanks. Thanks, Teresa. I love a smoky eye. All right, let's bring it across. to the water line. And then pull it down. And then the bottom. Could I do a smoky eye with palette one and four? Of course you could. One is all the browns, which is amazing. You totally do a smoky eye with that. Um, and of course you could do one with palette four. Um, I'll try to do one this week for you, Teresa, with palette four. I've got that on my to-do list anyways, to play around with palette four. But yeah, you could do a smoky eye with any color, with any palettes, okay? Really, it just, you just have to pick a, a light, a medium, and a dark color, and you can do a smoky eye. Pretty much with that, you could do it with all pinks, with all blues, with all grays. You can combine the two together. You, there's so many combinations that you can do, um, as long as you have three colors that are light, medium, dark. And the palette four has the blues, and it also has the browns in it, so you have several combinations that you could do with that one. Okay, so I'm gonna use my uh, deluxe brush. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. Now I gotta use the other side, okay? So I used my liner side, I created liner. Now I'm gonna use the actual brush side, the shader side, and I'm gonna pack in this courageous color, okay? Because I want a little bit of that shimmer to shine through. You stink at, no one stinks at smoky eyes, you just gotta practice. So see, you're the one where I'd say, save this video, and then get your palettes out, and do the exact same thing, just pick four colors or three colors and do the exact same thing. You can do it. So I'm just packing this onto the outside corner to create that really, really smoky effect. See that? Wow. <laughs> smoky eye. And the reason why I'm choosing this color is just because it has a little bit of the pink glitter in it. It's like a subtle, subtle shimmer. I should say it's not even a shimmer, it's a glitter but it's subtle. 
Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush, the deluxe brush, and I'm gonna go back in. Remember I told you I was gonna pack in this area? I want it to be really bright and kind of contrasted to the outer side. Woo! So I'm packing in, it's called beaming. Beam me up, Scotty. And just blending it in. And then I'm going to go in with, um, I'm going to use another brush. I'm going to use my blending brush or my, what's this brush called? Crease brush. But I'm going to use it, I'm going to put this color, okay, on the bottom. Oh, hello. Now, that's a smoky eye. Okay, I still have to do a contour and all that good stuff. So before I get to that though, let's do mascara, okay? So there's a few things you can do. When you do a really dramatic eye, you typically want dramatic lashes. And so I love false lashes. I do, I use them all the time. Um, but I have a lot of you that are like, I don't, I can't, I can't do false lashes. I don't have the patience, I don't wanna deal with all the glue and all that crap. So I'm gonna show you how to really give yourself dramatic lashes with mascara. Ah, thank you, Juan. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to use two different types of mascaras. And before we do that, I like to comb through my lashes. Just make sure that they're all separated. I don't have any gunk in them. You know, they're clean and ready and we're good to go. So I just kind of, just like you would comb your hair, right, before you actually style it, comb your lashes. Okay, so and you need to know this before I put my la mascara on. I fried these lashes. This lash you're gonna see is gonna be like 10 times better than this side because I fried them accidentally. Um, and that's a whole other story of how I did that. So I'm missing lashes <laughs> on this side. It looks kind of funky, but we're gonna make it work. But you gotta pay attention to this eye because this eye is the good eye. I don't have, look, I barely have any lashes to begin with. So I'm gonna show you how to give yourself the look of dramatic lashes with mascara if you don't wanna deal with um, false lashes, which I, I, several of my clients and friends, don't, they don't wanna deal with it, so they do this instead. So I'm gonna curl my lashes first. What I have left on this side, I'm gonna curl. Seriously, can you even see them? I fried them. They're like little tiny nubs. I have no lashes left on that side, but this side's good. They're still tiny. You can barely see them, but they're there. All right, then you're going to start with Epic, which by the way, I use a, um, a lash enhancer. So I use a serum that helps my lashes grow. Okay, so that's step one. And I do that every night before I go to bed. Step two is gonna be using Epic Max Mascara. How, how, oh, <laughs> how I, <laughs> oh, Teresa. It was an accident, okay? I'm just gonna say this now before I tell you. It was a total accident. So I get what's called a lash lift done. 
and that is the procedure where you give your your lashes get a um, <laughs> you can't tell I'm telling you your lashes get you get a, a per it's called a semi it's like a permanent for your lashes okay where basically instead of using the eyelash curler you don't need to it just curls your lashes up and then it lasts six to eight weeks okay so I do that I do that every six to eight weeks it's a procedure that I perform on others. Hi, Veronica, happy holidays. Thank you, love my trees. I love how it makes my house look so pretty. So anyways, it's a procedure that I do on others, but I also trade with a girlfriend and get my lashes done, because I can't do my own lashes. I have to have somebody else do them. And this is a very good friend of mine. Okay, like one of my best friends, closest friends. She was really tired, <laughs> like had jet lag, and she just I literally got home from vacation really, really late the night before, and I went and saw her, and she accidentally, we're not exactly sure what she did, but we do know she used the wrong size tool on me on accident, and she fried my left eye. <laughs> but it's okay, I forgive her. They're just lashes, they're gonna grow back. And I've got an amazing serum and amazing, you know, I can use the mascara to make them look better and I can use false lashes to make them look better, but they're fried. We know that it was, like, we know what she did, kind of how she did it. So it's not like she didn't know what she was doing, she was just tired and grabbed the wrong stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so my lashes are half gone. I know. It, it's terrible, but I'm not. I, I, I'm over it. I'm not mad. I was never mad at her. Um, I laughed about it just because I, it's just, it's replaceable. It's not like she did anything that's not replaceable. Like, my lashes are going to grow back. I've got a great serum that will help them do that, and it's all good. And I have great products to make my lashes look amazing still. Um... Oh, Teresa, I love false lashes. I recommend Red Cherry. Red Cherry is my favorite brand, okay? <clears throat> okay, so, but it takes some practice when you do false lashes, okay? It takes some practice. Oh, thank you, Veronica. So are you, honey. Uh, right, so choose happy. Okay, so look, this is just Epic by itself. So Epic's pretty intense as it is, and that's my daily mascara. So now I'm gonna put 3D over the top. And that's where you kinda of can give yourself the look of having false lashes without dealing with all the glue. So this is the three step mascara. And I'm just putting on the gel first. And then I'm gonna go in with the fibers. Yeah, I love Epic too. I feel like Epic gives me the length and then the 3D mascara gives me all the va-voom, you know? Like that. Of course, remember this is the this is the rogue eye. <laughs> so watch this eye. <laughs> I really like this look. I have a Christmas party to go to in two weeks, and I think I'm going to replicate this. Wait till you see my lip, though. 3D gel dried up quick. Oh, you need to contact Teresa. Just contact um, support, and they'll replace it. Okay, they'll ask you to send a picture of your dried up tube. That, that means there's something wrong with it. So they'll replace it, Chris, uh, Teresa, no problem. Gosh, mine's almost three months old. Look at that. Woo. See how amazing that is? Thank you, Kristen. It's my smoky eye. And I literally could stop at one coat, but if you wanted like a ton more drama, you could do several coats. It's layerable, so you can make them as long and as thick as you want. I'm going to stop at one coat, though, because it's 
pretty dramatic. Oops. Oops. You just gotta make sure you always end with the gel. Okay, so that was using the two mascaras. Let's do a little contour and then we're gonna get to that amazing um, lip. Sparkly lips. And Teresa, I'll show you how to use that brush. <laughs> Kristen, I'm not going out. <laughs> I am doing this just for you. <laughs> no, seriously, I am. I um, I get asked, I've been getting asked more often um, for more tutorials, but at night, because in the morning people are at work, and some people can't actually watch the videos while they're at work. Um, so I decided to do one tonight. Um, plus, I do makeup classes on a regular basis, okay? And they're expecting a smoky eye tutorial from me tonight, today. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I am going to do a smoky eye on my wall for those that have been asking for videos. And then I'm going to share this with my class so they can see a smoky eye. And learn how to do one. And I'll take a few selfies, Kristen. <laughs> so I'll have a memory of this. I'll have a memory of this look, which will be good because honestly, I, like I said, I have a Christmas party that I'm going to in two weeks and I really like this eye look. And so I'll probably replicate it. Okay, Teresa, so I'm gonna do a little lip contour. So I'll do a little bit here and a little here, okay, to make my lips look bigger. And Teresa, this is when I use that brush. So if you have this brush, okay, I, you can use this one, no problem. But you can also use this little guy and I just go in and blend. Like that. You could use it on your nose too. But I, I just love, I like ours better for the nose, for the whole face. But this guy I'll use in the lip area. All right, we need some blush. Just a little bit of blush. And I'm actually, so this is really pinky for me, so I'm gonna show you how to tone that down. I mean, it's fine. I'd wear this color, but I'm gonna use some luminizer over the top of it. So this is like a white iridescent luminizer, which just gives my cheeks a glow. See that? And it tones down my blush a little bit. And you know what else we're gonna do? We'll do a little luminizer on the nose to highlight, and then a little bit on the cube as well. Okay. All right, pink sparkly lips. We are going to use, look at that. This is called Ritzy, okay? So Ritzy by itself, is really pretty. It's kind of a very, 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 very subtle shimmery pink. It's like a satin pink. And here's the thing, it's one of my favorite. I like to think of this as a Barbie pink. 
but it is one of my favorite pinks. So, I'm gonna put that on. What do you think? Okay, so that pink by itself is a really pretty pink, but we're gonna amp it up. And I am going to amp it up using a, um, a lip shimmer, okay? So uh, this is what the, today's kudos is, or not kudos, bundle, okay? Because we have like several days of bundles going on right now for Black, we have a week of Black Friday. Like most people have just a day of Black Friday. We have a week of Black Friday. So bundle number four is this lip color with a lip sparkle. Okay, so it's a sparkle that you can put up, put on top of any lip color you want. Just the bundle today happens to include this color lipstick, and I'm going to show you a similar look. Okay, because I don't have the lip sparkle; it's an exclusive product, so I had to order it myself. But I have something similar to it. Okay, so this is a little sparkle that's going to go over the top of my lip, and I'm going to use the brush to do it. So this is a cream shadow brush, brush which also comes with that bundle. Oh, making a mess. Hold on, I just spilled it. Okay. I just spilled powder everywhere. Okay, ready? So I'm gonna put a little of that powder on my brush and then I'm gonna go and place it look at that it just it provides like this sparkly lip and they're pretty okay you gotta have this. <laughs> if you want it, it's only available today. You have to go to my website and get it. Cause it's gone tomorrow. But it's so pretty. Hello, I <laughs> almost glow. <laughs> pink lips. Woo! It's a bit obnoxious. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. It is pretty. I really, really like it. So I just have to fix my hair, put a little bit of setting spray on. I just did it now. Cindy, I didn't wear makeup all day today. <laughs> but look at that lip. Do you think any of these bundles will end up in our line of makeup? I don't know what, oh, I, you mean like the exclusive products? Do you think that they'll start offering them? Is that what you mean, Teresa? You did this look today too, yeah, I saw. Um, oh, okay, yeah, day one, what, was day one the lip, the um, neutral lip? Oh my gosh, the neutral lip. That one was, I think, the most popular one so far. All right, so, yeah, I, you know, I don't know, Teresa. I don't have the up and up on that stuff. Um, so I don't know if it's going to end up on, sometimes they surprise us and they bring it to us. Um, but sometimes it doesn't come for a long time. Like when they first came out with Hottie Teresa, um, they only offered it for a month and then we had to wait. It didn't come back for like six months after that. Um, same with the dip and draw. We had that purple available to us and then it was gone. 
and then they brought it back in just that bundle. So I, I have no idea. Um, yeah, I don't know. But you could get this lip today. <laughs> so for those of you tuning in, um, here's my tutorial on my smoky eye. I used palette four. Okay, I used palette four. But here's the thing, you don't have, or not palette four, I used the anniversary palette. But you just need to pick, go to your makeup bag, pick out three to four colors. Okay, a dark, a medium, medium, and a light. Okay, and you can follow along with any colors that you want. Okay, if you like this palette though, it's um, part of our kudos this month. So you can get a palette, you can get a cream shadow, you get the cream shadow brush, which I just showed you, at a um, discount. Okay, and I think it's 26%. If you like my lip, dude, that's 30% off right now. And it's this color lipstick, which is called Ritzy. And then you get a lip sparkle, which comes in a little tube that looks like this. And you get a brush to help put it on. And this is very similar to the look <laughs> that you can create. Um, it's probably almost identical. Uh, and you can get that for 30% off. You just gotta go to thick long lashes like now. Like right now, you have to go right now because at midnight tonight, it's gone. You can't get it. It's not coming back. And okay, so it's just, it's, and it's not gonna be come back for 30% off. Ritzy lipstick will be there, but you won't get it for 30% off. And you're not gonna get the lip sparkle. Um, right, that's true. Well, hopefully they will. Yeah, I hope so too, Teresa. Okay, I'm gonna take a few selfies, post them for you guys, and then um, go wash my face. <laughs> have a good night. Ciao.